right? Oh, you had no experience. And in a, less than, in a short period of time, you were dominating in Atlanta, one of the most competitive places ever, right? And your websites that are already dominating all over Atlanta for private helicopter tours. You guys can go look that up. You're going to see. Step one is to create that. All right. We have uh, Dewan here and he's back again. Check into Rec and let's begin. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's some old school telling my age hip hop stuff. Um, but what we're about to do is create a monster. <laughs> All right. So he's been a student of mine. Uh, he's had previous success, but he's itching to ramp things up. And I understand that he's ready to go to the next level and everything. So this will be a, a learning lesson for him as well as you guys. I got his permission to record this because I know a lot of you guys are probably in the same situation where you're making money, but you're 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 uh, ready to go to the next level. So whereas like effortlessly making money now, right? Okay, because making is a verb. If I'm gonna choose a verb, I rather say accepting money or receiving money instead of making money right <laughs> let's let's receive money accept money all right like <laughs> let's do that so um he got in uh in the godfather of drop service and is that correct okay so I, i've known him for a while the godfather of drop service and if you guys don't know that's where we teach you to kind of be as the uh, act as a third party um, you're basically promoting a, a service, but the business, the local business, your partner is doing the fulfillment. For example, what type of uh, business do you have? Drop service and business do you have? Servicing uh, helicopter tours for everybody in the local area for land. So he has the private helicopter tours, and I think we've uploaded a few testimonials from him in the past. So he's been out of an agency model and more of a partner uh, role and now he just wants to ramp it up because he's the top guy in the city as far as rankings and all of that stuff. But it's time to expand when you when you have something going right. Um, so he was asking me what he could do. What's the next step? Well, once you position yourself, you want to start to then leverage others. All right. So what I'm going to recommend him, I'm going to recommend to everybody on here right now okay um so i know i say your name wrong all the time so it's dujan dujan right dujan yeah i always say the wine but it's dujan yeah, yeah okay <laughs> okay all right so i have a lot of formulas and everything but we're just gonna simplify it simplify it this time all right assets partnerships assets partnerships okay so what do i mean by that when i wake up in the morning uh if i wake up early enough i do what's called leverage hours i meditate on assets that can be created or assets that i can control i don't necessarily even have to own them uh for example affiliate marketing you can control assets that you don't own, right? The link to the affiliate, uh, to the, to whatever the product is, is your asset, right? But now you need partners, partners that will provide the traffic in, uh, the least costly way possible, right? Okay. So your next step, Dijon, is creating assets. Your asset is your Google My Business listing. And your websites that are already dominating all over Atlanta for private helicopter tours. You guys can go look that up. You're going to see him. All right. But now you have a story. Now other people want to know how to do that, too, man. Like you literally proved it. You've proved it in front of everybody that's ever came to this channel. You proved it. So people will buy your book. How you got into this game. Right. Oh, you had no experience. And in a less than in a short period of time, you were dominating in Atlanta, one of the most competitive places ever. Right. Yeah. OK. So the book, the course, then you have the coaching, then you have the mastermind, then you have speaking engagements. 
Yeah. All right. All of these things are assets that can be sold. Some of them virtually and digital, others like, you know, physical, but you get to control these things. So your next step is not to try to pull more money out of uh, Atlanta for the private helicopter tours. You can, you know, scale up with that, too. That's fine. You can go to more cities and everything like that. Right. But if you want to start pulling away from the doing and going further into the designing, you need to create assets. OK, so I want you to create a book. If you need help with it, guess what? Chad GBT can outline that for you. And then you use the outline to go through your entire experience of what you did to become number one. My audience watching this right now, tell me in the comments that you wouldn't buy his book for in between 30 to 99 bucks, knowing that he's the top helicopter uh, uh, tour provider in Atlanta. And he did that catapulted in ahead of people that's been in that city for years with their companies. He did that in, in, in a few months time. Tell me you wouldn't get that book. Tell me you wouldn't get that course. Right? So what I want you to do is you're going to go this weekend or, you know, I would say this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> forget, forget holidays. I don't care about that stuff. And you shouldn't either. Yeah, okay. Um, good. Okay. So, Spend this weekend crafting a very good book. It doesn't have to be it make it more like a, a guide type situation. And I'm yeah. going to help you. OK, I'm going to help you. Don't worry. But I want you to do this. OK, craft a little book, make it like a guide. It can be quick, just really more straight to the point. Uh, you can put stories in there and your feelings and experiences and all of that stuff if you want to, to make it more entertaining. But make it to where step by step to where. OK, here's an easy way to say it. What you would put in the course, put that into words in the book. So if you were going to create a course, make that the book. OK, and then when you make the course, what you would do in coaching, put that into the course. That is why people have bought my 297 profit positioning book, because the I, I made it to where the book teaches the same stuff as if somebody was getting the coaching from me. So if they can't afford the coaching, they can just get the book. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's how you place the value of something higher price into something uh, um, more affordable for people. Let me plug in this this card. So I hope you're writing this down. Hold on. Let me okay, hold on. Give, give one second. So let me get something real quick. Hold on. Yeah. So everybody watching this right now, you should be writing this stuff down, too. OK, because we haven't even gotten to the meat and potatoes or since y'all are eating Thanksgiving leftovers. We haven't even gotten into the cranberries and, uh, and the turkey and the stuffing yet. OK. <laughs> OK, so step one is to create the assets. It doesn't matter it can be it can be an app. It can be a membership program. It can be a freaking private Facebook group that you're going to charge 20 to 50 dollars per month and you're going to stuff in massive amounts of value. All you need is something to sell an asset. OK, like let, let, we're going to make this as simple as we can possibly do it. OK, if you look at people like Russell Brunson. You look at people like Myron Golden. You look at every pastor ever. If you look at uh, 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 Tony Robbins, if you look at movie stars, if you look at the musicians, what they do is they start with an asset, the album, mixtape, the movie, the book. Right. And then they go and they get their partners. The partners are the ones that control audiences with influence. So you'll see they they'll stop by every radio station in the country before their book or their movie or their uh, album releases. And they'll give little snippets. They'll give little little previews to build up buzz and build up demand for it. That way, when they release it, it does not have cricket sound. That's called a launch sequence. Every movie ever has done it. Pay attention. You'll see the trailer. 
They'll drop a trailer, a teacher trailer. Then they'll drop a full trailer. Then they'll drop a final trailer. Then they'll do a TV spot or some type of a uh, 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 Super Bowl TV spot where it shows like three minutes of the movie. And then the final weeks leading up to the actual uh, movie uh, release, they'll be on talk shows and all of that extra stuff like that. Then when the movie comes out, everybody rushes to go to the theaters. That's exactly what entrepreneurs do. Pay attention to the top guys. Whenever they have a course come out, they don't just promote it by themselves. I've been fortunate enough to pull that off a few times, but <laughs> most of the time you'll see them on everybody's freaking podcast, like on all these people's podcasts. You know, they don't hang out together, but they'll be over there being interviewed. And then out of nowhere, at the end of the interview, after they've given massive amounts of value, they'll say, hey, where can they find you if they want to uh, take advantage of this offer right here? Oh, well, guys, you can use the code blah, 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 and you can get 50 percent off. And then they'll tell their audience, yeah, guys, go check out Dijon's, uh, you know, helicopter uh, startup book. You understand? So where you can, you know, start. Go from start to um, successful in your city with a helicopter private tour business in less than three freaking months. You hear me? And then everybody from that audience will go and purchase the book or go into that course. That's literally it. That's literally it, guys. All it is Facebook ad stuff. All it is um, even I mean, I love SEO. I love it. But even with SEO and all of that, if you guys want to dodge bullets, dodge updates, if you wonder how I survive and how a lot of the top guys survive uh, penalties and, and and bans and and all of this extra stuff that happens in the marketing industry is partners, people, assets, partners, assets, partners. When when uh, when the scamdemic was going on and Google uh, deleted 85 to 90 percent of my freaking Google, my business listings and and assets on Google. And I lost like almost all my freaking uh, income over freaking night. Right. The only reason I was able to bounce back and move from Mexico to where I'm at in Panama now is because I had partnerships that set up to where I was like, whew. That was close. I was almost out of business. I got a family of five, three pets and no backup, no family that would help us. If it wasn't for my networks and partnerships, I don't know what the heck would have happened. So Dijon and everybody watching, take that and don't take it lightly. Take it serious. It's two steps. It's no way. I look. I don't want to get too scriptural, but the Bible says there's simplicity in Christ. Then in Proverbs and a lot of the uh, uh, the books of wisdom, it talks about nature. Right. And he uses a lot of these examples of nature to show you since you're a man, you're supposed to have dominion over the world. Right. We we run the world. Right. Well, why do we struggle? He talks about how the birds, they don't sow. They don't have to reap for the harvest. They wake up, they fly down, get a worm, eat. They don't think about how they're going to eat tomorrow or or <laughs> what they're going to wear tomorrow or or how they're going to pay. They don't think of none of that. He said the, like the grass does not have to till itself or do any of that. It just supposed is natural. We're supposed to naturally thrive. We're the kings of the world, but we struggle. So it's letting you know that we're doing something. Our pride forces us to do something contrary to what God created us for. If you have a message, if you have a skill, a gift, it's supposed to be effortless for you to be able to survive and thrive with it. If you're having difficulty, it's something you're doing wrong. Now, I, I agree. In, 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 in Genesis 1.28, it talks about the four things, okay, the four steps. And I, I, I broke this down before on this channel. Write this down, everybody, Dijon, everybody, write this down. And you'll never have to worry about struggling again, I promise you, okay? This will, you can go into any niche. I've created channels and made a crazy amounts of money 
in niches where I don't have any freaking idea what's going on because of this formula that I got out of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. So whether you believe in God or not, you better write this freaking down. All right. Now, he says, be fruitful. That means to produce or create something. He says to multiply. All right. How do you duplicate what you created? The good thing about this day and age, guys, is majority of everything is digital. So if you create an asset, which was step one, the fruitful part, and, and, and it's a digital asset, like an ebook, an audio book, a course, or something like that, it's automatically where it's easy to duplicate, where it's easy to multiply. So you got steps one and two just like just perfect. And yes, this stuff is in the Bible, guys. Right. And then step three is replenish the earth. So now you create your partnerships. These act as your distribution centers. Right. Like, how do you create uh, how do you have your distribution center? So, OK, I got my asset. I figured out how I can multiply it. It's easy. Anytime I give somebody a password to this site, the product is multiplied. So I don't have to continuously keep on creating something over and over. Boom. All right. Replenish the earth. All right. Well. I have partners over here, partners over there. So I'm going to write down five to 10 people who have decent sized audiences that will be interested in purchasing this helicopter private uh, uh, tour business setup. Right. I'm going to write these people down. OK, so that can be channels uh, about entrepreneurship, channels about affiliate marketing, channels about starting a business. I will write them down. They don't have to be have millions of freaking viewers or subscribers. You can start with people that got freaking 100 freaking subscribers as long as uh, five to 100 people watch. Right. And then you can snowball. That snowball turns into an avalanche. After you're doing this interview, you're doing that interview. People start seeing you on that person's channel and reaching out saying, hey, do an interview over here. And then before you know it, everybody else's audience becomes your audience and they're all engaged and all buyers. So that leaves you to the last part. Subdue. That means have dominion. That means to take over. That means to dominate. So if you put together all four of those parts right there, you'll you'll never have to worry about man broke again. All right. So I'm still trying to master a lot of things, man. But those four things right there have helped me in situations where I, I was dead broke or or, you know, things that go in a, in, a, in a way that I wouldn't expect them to go. And I'm like, whew, thank God I knew that. So I, I just pray that y'all get it. So. Dejan, let me talk to you for a minute. Y'all can still listen if you're on here. <laughs> so that's what I want you to do this weekend. The, the start with the ebook. Okay, just let's keep it very simple. I don't want to overwhelm you. Go and create an ebook. It doesn't have to be very large, but just make sure it's detailed to where people can literally follow your steps. I got you. Okay. Step two. Turn, convert that ebook into an audio book. You can record it using your own phone or whatever audio equipment you want, or you can pay somebody uh, 50 to 100 bucks on Fiverr and they can uh, record the audio book. You're not going to upload it to Amazon. I know, I know, I know, I know, but we're not going to upload it to Amazon. You want to control these assets and you don't want it diluted. Okay. You want it standalone. You want it exclusive. OK, yeah. so what's going to happen is you're going to sell it as a package deal. Right. You buy the audio book, you get the ebook free. You buy the ebook, you get the audio book free. Right. So now when we craft this irresistible offer for these assets that you just created, you want to go on YouTube, go on Instagram. Even TikTok, just go on the major platforms. You can just start with one for real. I don't want to overwhelm you. Like I said, I and write TikTok. down. Yeah. yeah, write down five to ten. Like go and look at their content. Like look, it's, it's even better if you've seen them interview other people before. So if you've seen them interview other people before, that's even better. But even if they haven't, write them down. And you're going to create an irresistible offer for them. Everybody wants to know what's in it for them. So we're not going to say, 
Hey, what's up, man? Can you interview me? No, 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 no. I always lead with how much can I pay you? They say, um, pay me for what? I say an introduction to your audience. And then I give them an option. I can give them a couple dollars up front or I can make them an, an affiliate. Right. So some people don't even want like if you have an audience, this is the good thing. Why you guys want watching want to start building up audiences, because then you could do just you can do mutual, you know, mutually beneficial agreements where you interview them, they interview you and you ain't got to do like nothing else. Right. Like, like hey, I'm going to interview you. You interview me. Right. But if you don't have an audience, then money talks and it doesn't have to be a lot. A lot of you guys are paying for shout outs. That's stupid. That's stupid. Now, why is that stupid? Because th their audience knows that they're getting paid to recommend that. That's garbage. That that doesn't allow uh, their audience to get to know why they're recommending that. An interview does. If you if you go live with someone that has five to ten thousand followers on Instagram, and they're getting to ask you all the deep penetrating questions of your business model and all of that. The audience is watching, is learning live and, and experiencing it. And, and at the same time, they're opening up another tab, going to follow you on your other social medias and all of that extra stuff, stalking you online and becoming fans and stuff. So like, dog, <laughs> do whatever you have to do. Some people will do these interviews free. Like I, uh, a lot of the interviews I do is, is it don't cost me anything. You might have to go through some numbers, but I always tell you guys, it's smarter to advertise for partners than it is to advertise for customers because your partners have your customers already. All right. So write down the assets that you can create It's very simple. If anybody in these comments sit here and try to debate with me, it's going to be a freaking problem, though. It's not that difficult. You make your assets like every think about it. If you guys have any any of you have been in any of my courses, tell me I'm freaking lying. Like, how did I get you? So obviously it works. You create an asset and then you apply leverage to the asset. Very simple. Create an asset, apply leverage. How fast you make money depends on how fast you can apply leverage. If you make a little bit of money. Or it takes you a while to make money. And I've experienced this. Trust me, I've gone through it a lot. That's because you haven't applied a lot of leverage. Maybe you're nervous to run ads. That's leverage. Or maybe you're nervous to uh, reach out and try to get a partner. Think about this. Some of these partners not just will interview you on their channel, but they have email lists as well. So you get in good with them. Not only are you going to get the sales from the people that watch their live stream or their recording or whatever, but they're going to send out a notification on their email list. Hey, check out the, the interview I just did with Dijon about how he started the dang on helicopter uh, private tours and built a business from that without even having to own any of the freaking helicopters. You hear me? Like, come on. Who's not going to watch that interview? You see what I'm saying? So. Dijon, that's what I want you to do. Forget everything else. I'm going to help you with that. You don't need to be no freaking affiliate. You don't need to be an affiliate. You need to either own or control assets. Mm -hmm. And I believe you're at the point where you can own some assets now, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it'll be good for you to put your name on it and, and own a few assets. You, you have enough experience to, to have a book. You don't have to be the world's most far expert to be able to teach people where you started and where you went to now, that's still valuable, right? So the book, the uh, the audio book, you can at least have that done this weekend if you mm -hmm. really zone in. I don't know your work schedule or whatever you got to do, but the ebook and the audio book, and then I'll help you uh, with the creation of the course. But you can get the ebook and the audio book done on your own. I know you can. I believe in you. So after you're done with that, let me know and I'll help you with the outline of the course and how to set up your coaching. And then I'll help you with the plotting of your partners. OK, because that's it. Once you get these partners, that's the money right there. That's it. Like the people I've been interviewing on the channel lately have been making money like 
hours after the interview and, and they're still getting money like, you know, days after and stuff. So it doesn't take much, guys. This is why you see a, a lot of people don't even run paid ads, but you will see them on everybody's channel because when you're doing that, you're you're marking off a lot of things. You're getting the traffic, which is cool, but you're also getting a vouch. You're getting vouched for by someone that these people trust. So that's you're you're, you're siphoning off some of their credibility and the and, and authority. So when a person comes to follow you, they automatically trust you. All the skepticism is gone automatically. So these interviews, guys, like it's it's pretty much nothing as as powerful as as that. It's just not. It's just, it just really ain't. No no Facebook ads you can do. No freaking webinar you can do unless it's a joint webinar with one of them recommending you. But it's the same thing, basically. Nothing is more powerful. No form of advertising or marketing is more powerful than an interview that goes deep into what it is you sell and a recommendation by the host. Do you have any questions? Uh, not really, because I really, um, when it comes to the definitely getting my partners to like get on board, especially he's putting some fire on them, whatever, so we could get more stuff done. So I would always be receiving income and everything. That right there. Yeah. We could we could get into that uh, a little later. You know what I'm saying? We gotta uh we still take it one step at a time. But yeah, especially since sure. some partnerships. I also want to start doing what I say I'm doing on my end and bring them funds uh more people too. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So, For yeah. sure. Okay, so you're gonna make a commitment to have the ebook and yeah. audio book done by the end of this weekend, right? I got you. Okay, good, good. So y'all heard that. He's making a commitment. I so y'all are going to be able to have access very soon to how he started a successful private tour, uh, uh, a helicopter private tour company in freaking Atlanta, of all places, without any helicopters, just strictly through the assets that he owned, controlling the, uh, the traffic. And the fulfillment partners, you're going to be able to know exactly how he did that. Right. So uh, stay tuned for uh, the update on that. And you guys will be able to get access on that. Um, if you have any more questions that come up design after we get off here, you just send the text to the customer customer support and it'll be forwarded to me. I yeah. think I'm, I'm going to give you my WhatsApp and then you'll be able to get. Yeah, you will just have access to me. Um, and, and yeah, like I said, if any more questions come up or whatever, but let us know in the comments, how excited are y'all for, uh, Dijon and did y'all learn anything as well? Are y'all going to go and put this stuff into play? Because a lot of people ain't going to tell y'all how easy it is. People will tell you how difficult it is. Why? So that you will be forced to pay for their coaching, right? Like if they make it difficult for you to do it on your own. Like that's a tactic. I'm going to tell you, okay, hey, let me make this video. Here's the 15 steps to doing this. And you would be like, oh, man, that's a yeah, that's a lot. That and then they say, but if you want help implementing this, then my coaching is this, this, this. That's that's just what 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 people do. It's not, I'm not I ain't mad at it or nothing like that. But I'm just letting you all know a lot of this stuff is way more uh, simple than you think. Right. I might even say easy for some of it. Right. So I'm going to let y'all go and y'all enjoy the rest of your holidays. Like I said, get this done this weekend, Dijon, and uh, you. text you. me if you have you. any questions. Yeah, I'm going to text you on Sunday when I uh, let you at least show you what I got so far. You know what I'm saying? You probably okay, for sure, for sure.